G'day guys, uh, this is a video as a first look at the new HD0 expansion bay version 2 module that includes uh, the Wi-Fi integration. So as we can see here we've got the two units side by side, the original one on the right hand side and the new one on the left hand side. Um, it, in all intents and purposes, functions pretty much, or it looks pretty much the same. Um, fits in the module bay the same way. Um, there is, uh, with the original version one module, um, it is pretty stock standard. Um, I believe with the version 1.5 module, it included um, an additional switch that allows you to power on and off the module bay itself. Um, this is the obviously the new module and you can see that we have a power switch on toggle on the side here that will power uh, the module bay and um, as well if you don't realize it um, the Wi-Fi integration in the module bay also is controlled by the uh, the power switch there. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll connect this up to the goggles and I will um, lead you through the menus so you can see how this is turned on, how it integrates with, uh, at least in this example, my computer, um, and we'll start a stream. Okay, so we've uh, changed our view here so we can see the screen and I'm going to turn the goggles on and the Wi-Fi module is or the bay is um, installed on the goggles. So as you can see, the Wi-Fi in the top there is indicating that it's off. Just waiting for this scanning to finish doing what it's doing so I can move the menus. Okay, so firmware is the latest from Carl at this time, um, 31st of March. Um, and this is one that's been released during the day, I haven't seen, but um, this firmware includes 1080p as well as uh, the Wi Fi functionality. Um, it's a alpha slash beta um, release. Uh, this is just to demo the connections that you're getting from the Wi-Fi. So you can see that um, by turning the goggles on, the Wi-Fi AP is off. If you ever restart the goggles, it defaults to being off. So you've got to come in here and um, effectively turn it on. The Wi-Fi is on. And you can see the default SSID and password that comes with the firmware. Um, I believe that you can edit a SSID.txt file on the root of the SD card. And when you boot up, it actually will take that default. Oh, sorry, it will take that details from that file and put it into the settings um, of the goggles. And whenever you reboot, even without the SD card, those um, that SSID and password will be maintained. Anyway, we're just using the default ones here. So we're hooked up and um, we can see that uh, I've got the Wi-Fi turned on. I'm just going to plug in my VTX to my flight controller so that I can get some... You can see that we're on a camera feed from the VTX. I'll flip over to that now. Hopefully it's playing ball with me. Let me just restart. At the moment the firmware defaults to beta flight. So sometimes you've got to restart the flight controller for it to flip over to um, your desired firmware, particularly if you're running 
I know well I do I think there's a, a fix coming for that the next firmware it seems to forget which um, flight control software it's mm -hmm. running okay so you can see we've got a 1080p feed there um, and I can show you that with the goggles so with the camera menu by using the right your to get to the camera menu and you can see there the video mode is 1080p 30. Okay, flipping back to, uh, actually we'll leave it on that. So let's have a look at our uh, uh, VLC on our computer um, and connecting to the Wi-Fi of the goggles now i've connected to this before so when it finds the hd0 network it will um it will automatically connect so i've already put the password in so I'm connecting to that if i have a look at our command prompt you can see that we have now got a connection to there just by pinging it and if i flip back to the screen here and i'll show you the connections so you notice that um, in here is your username pass uh, sorry ssid and password and you've also a connection string down here that you'll need to put into VLC to connect with the, a specific IP address, which is static. Um, that doesn't change. So open VLC, you need to put that connection string in. So let's move back over. I am connected to the Wi-Fi. And if we go to opening the network stream, and this particular network stream is is the exact same as what we just saw in the off the goggles information and if i play that network stream you can see that we've now got mirroring from the goggles i will flip over to vtx So, uh, I'll, so you can see that it's, it's working as per normal. There's a little bit of breakup or a little bit of uh, compression, um, particularly when a lot of things change on the the um, screen or on the video camera feed at one time. You can see you can sort of see that breakup there or the compression. Sorry if I was a bit loud there, was my face was right next to the camera. Um, so let's flip over to viewing them together so you can actually get a, an idea of the lag um, between the two. So So it's a 1080p um, camera feed that actually gets uh, down sample to 720. So you can see the amount of lag there, it's probably a second and a half. Um, I don't really know how to measure it. It's probably around about that amount. And that is probably about it really um works fine i don't know how to work in practice but uh, in terms of a live feed but at the moment this is how it will work in terms of a computer um now i understand that a lot of you will try and, and use a, a mobile phone to do this um, i had some issues with my phone in that it couldn't connect to the or it would connect to the the access point at the goggles but it would 
very soon after dropped that connection because that connection didn't have an internet, uh, didn't have an internet access. So I think it's a, a problem with my phone as opposed to a problem with the goggles um, or the access point in there. So there it is there, um, works, um, needs some improvements. Uh, the feed that you'll see coming through um, is regardless of the source feed is, I don't know if you can I'll flip over, you can see here it's 720p and the actual source feed on the camera is 1080. Uh, my testing has sh shown that even if it's if it's 1080 on the uh, the camera feed and you're streaming it will come in at, at, sorry if it's 720 on the camera feed um, the streaming will remain maintained at 720. I'm aware that or I'm talking to Carl this can be changed at some point and at the moment um, that's what we've got. I would expect that if we were trying to transmit 1080p over the Wi-Fi we'd be seeing a lot more lag um, and a lot more compression artifacts as the image moves around. Um, but you know, Carl can do his magic, and we'll see from um, our next firmware versions how that improves. All right, thanks, guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this or found it informative, and we'll catch you on the flip side.